Hofstra head coach in entering his fourth season, Joe Mahalik, and he brings with him a little muscle. I like, I like a man who travels, who knows how to bring a star performer with him. Rocos Gustis is with us. Last year, all CAA team, preseason selection as well. 22 double-doubles, led the conference in rebounding. A tremendous season. And I've been starting with coaches, but I'm gonna, I think I better start with Rocas right That's now. That's a good choice. Yeah, That's right? You, you wouldn't disagree with that, right? That's good Joe? choice. How have you evolved as a player? Because I watched very early a raw talent. Last year, you seemed to be a much more polished performer. Uh, it just took me some time to adjust to you know, all the Coach Mahalik system and get to know Wani better and Amin and everybody else around me. So the players helped me a lot to, to just get, get better and feel myself on the court. And that's what happened. It was a breakout season for me last year. Mentioning Wanye Green, Amin Tanksley, two stars who graduated after 24 wins for Hofstra last year. Uh, did you remind those guys when they missed you were the guy who had to clean everything up for them? Is that I didn't miss very often, so it was, it was pretty hard to get those rebounds, but I was doing my best, and I got a couple good games with the rebounds. Joe, it was a terrific season, 24 wins, uh, part of the conference regular season title. You get to the NIT tournament. That really was something I know you can build on with this program, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, we had a, we had a great season, and by the way, it's great to be with you, Al, but it's even better to be with, with Rock. <laughs> I would think so. You know, just the way you started out with him, I, like I said, <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Well, we just saw why. You, yeah. you, you want to hang close to him. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the truth. Uh, but it was, and it's what it's why you play. And, and you know, we always believed that we could be a, a good team in this league. The problem is there's 10 teams that could be a good team in this league. But, you know, last year proved that we could do it. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 we still have something to prove. We're still pretty hungry. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we can build off of last year and, and turn that into some, some more wins this year. I mentioned fourth year coming into your fourth season at Hofstra, but you have 19 seasons as a head coach. You've seen this game evolve, and we talk so much now about who's got this guard, who's got this wing player. What is the value of having a dependable big man like Rokas? Well, I mean, it, it, there's nothing like it. I mean, he is, you know, you know, here's a guy that tries to get 20 rebounds a game. Like most coaches, I think there's every coach in the country would say, oh, man, if I get a guy that wants to get 10 a game, I'm going to be happy. Yeah. You know, Rock tries to get 20 a game. And, uh, and did it like six times last year. So, you know, he's got an incredible knack for, for knowing where the ball is, and the strongest man alive, great, great hands. And, uh, you know, you talked about his breakout season last year. You know, as, as a freshman, a lot of people don't know this, but Rock kind of played hurt all year. He had a leg injury that knocked him out for about eight weeks. And so how he was in January and February was, was nothing like how he was last year and how he was going into getting that injury. Mm -hmm. When we mention guys like Wanya Green, I mean, Tanksley, two great leaders, you and now Brian Bernardi, is it safe to say that really is kind of the leadership role you two have to kind of maybe take over from them? Uh, I wouldn't say it's just me and him. We have uh, great players like Deron, who's gonna, who was sitting out last year. We have Jamal, who's been around four years, around this Coach Mahalik. So they all guys know what, we do, what we're going to do next year and what to expect from them. So I feel like it's going to be um, more like five guys than just me and Brian. Well, Mention some of the guys that that maybe had lesser roles last year that are going to be counted on more this year. And Baroque has just mentioned Jamal Robinson, who is not far from here at Paul the Six. He missed all last year as a red shirt, but he was a very successful freshman. How much bigger does his role need to be this year? Well, you know, he, he was an interesting case last year because, you know, he was just going to get squeezed last year with minutes because of Amin Tanksley and, and uh, Denton Kuhn, who had a great year. Uh, and so we sat down and said, you know, if you want a red shirt, take that as a compliment. It means we want you around for a couple more years. So we had Jamal Robinson sitting out last year, and he's now a, he's not a new guy because he was there for two years. Deron Powers uh, is a transfer from Hampton. He sat out last year. Uh, and he's played well so far. But he had three really successful years at Hampton. He was the MVP of the, of the, the conference tournament mm -hmm. when Hampton won it, went to the NCAA tournament as, as a junior. So, you know, Rock mentioned both of those guys and got a couple new freshmen coming in, Elijah Pemberton. Uh, he'll he'll help us, and you know Taekwon Greer is a junior college transfer who's again not a new guy or not an old guy, but a new guy. Deshaun Bowie, a couple of those other guys got some some valuable minutes last year too that I would imagine is going to be important for them this season. Yeah, no doubt. Deshaun Bowie, Justin Wright, Foreman didn't play enough last year. The coach didn't play him enough. That's, that's my <laughs> fault. But uh, he's somebody that can really score the basketball, and we have another transfer sitting out, Hunter Sabati, who's going to. You know, he, he had a lot to do with Rokas having such a great year last year because he, he was a transfer from Tufts. But he's probably, I don't know what we list him at, 6'8", 260, 265. And these two guys, you know, one of these days the two of them are just going to explode, I think, <laughs> if they, they bang each other so much.
but he, he helped Rockby have a great year last year, and he's going to help us this year. So these practices are fun? These practices are fun. Like, could, sometimes you can uh, mistake him and me, you know, like he's just going to look the same. And <laughs> it's that type of body is just going to be hard for everybody else. The hardest like, part's reffing when, he, when him, and, <laughs> yeah. him and Hunter get the ball in the past. It's the hardest part of the, of, the, of the practices. What have you seen in these last couple of years from this conference uh, and in some of the great rivalries now that have developed with Hofstra and, and some of the other conference schools? Uh, I would say it's a, it's a great conference. You know, we were ranked seventh or ninth last year in the between conference, so it's great, great opportunity to play against great players and coaches are great here too. They prepare their teams and all the teams, all the teams ready to play against each other. You know, it's just a really good conference. How much did the NIT experience? How much a did you enjoy it? How much do you think it helped you guys as a team? Um, I mean, our goal was different before before NIT, but when we got at NIT, we were we weren't ready to play there, but we were. We're there to play. I think we'll enjoy a little bit more than we enjoyed after that loss. Is that well said? <laughs> I told you his English is better than most of the guys <laughs> on the team, and, and myself too. Good. So. Rokas, Joe, thank you very much. Now, good luck this you. season. Thank you. Always good it. to be with you. Thanks. All right.